is an example of isometric drawing having an isometric text and isometric dimensions. How to make an isometric drawing? The first step is to click this. This is an isometric drafting toggle button. You can click the down arrow to change your plane. Let's say you have isometric left, isometric top, and last you have isometric right. For the second step, turn on your polar tracking and also set your polar tracking to 30, 60, 90, and 120. You can easily change the isoplane faces without pressing this down arrow. You can just press F5 to change the isoplane. To start with isometric drawing, so I have already prepared the layers needed for this example. We will going to start from this corner. Using the line command, click here, and using the polar tracking, you must get the 30 degrees inclination of your angle. So that is 30 degrees, and type the distance, which is 10. Press enter, then going up. The polar tracking indicates that is that it is going 90. Type 10. Press enter. Going up. So that is 150 degrees. Type 10. So see to it that you have the polar tracking. Then press enter. Going here. Again, that is 10. And going down. Okay, so you must have the uh, polar tracking which is going down again 10 and you can simply click the end point of this line to draw an isocircle on a different plane all you need to do is to have the center of each faces to get the center, you can easily draw an indicator here, maybe a line or a bisector that we can get the midpoint of that figure. You can use dimension layer for that example and you can use line to bisect your different faces. So once you bisect the different faces, you can easily find the center of your figure. So this is the center of your top face. This is the center of the right face. And this is the center of the left face. To start creating your circle, you cannot use this one since... In isometric drawing, we don't have a perfect circle. We don't have a circle. The circle here in an isometric drawing is an ellipse. So you're going to use a ellipse command, which is the axis and ellipse. But before that, you must first indicate your isoplane. If you're going to draw at the top, your isoplane must be at the top. If you're going to draw at the right side, you have to change your plane by pressing F5. Okay, So this is at the right side. If you want to draw an isocircle on the left, again pressing F5, we change your face to the left. We start your isocircle at the top first. Your isometric drafting must be on isoplane top. Second, click this ellipse command and click axis end. On the command line, just choose isocircle. Then, get the center of your circle or isocircle. Then, click to indicate your radius. You can repeat it on the right by shifting the isoplane to the right side. Then again, repeat the command. Click ellipse axis end. 
choose isocircle, get the center point of the isocircle, then click your radius. Then lastly, press again F5 to shift isoplane. And again, click ellipse, axis N, and isocircle. Click the center of the isocircle. Then click the edge of the cube to get the radius. Okay, that's it. So you have now your isocircle facing different planes. So now, all you need to do is to change the layer for the different isocircle. You can now also remove these guides. Then we can now start with dimensions. This dimension is the copy of the standard. These are the following parameters of that dimension. For the text, always choose align with dimension line for the text alignment. For the symbol in arrow, you can choose open 30 or you can choose architectural tick or even the default one which is the close field. For the primary units, even though you do not remove the zeros of the precision, you can just check the zero suppression trailing. Then for the fit, you can just use trial and error method for this one. So you can fit your entire drawing, then press OK. For dimensioning, you can just align dimensions. Simply click each endpoint. Okay, continue. For the isocircle, you cannot use diameter or radius dimensions since it is not a actual circle. It is an ellipse. So for the circle, you can use leader. Type leader, press enter, select this point or any point of the circle, your projections, let's say pointing here. Then type A for annotation. Then write R5, which is stand for the radius. If you don't have any text to write, you can just press enter. This is now our output. But if you can see, the angle of your dimensions is not aligned to the given isometric drawing. Okay, so these are the steps on how to change the alignment or the angle of your dimensions line into oblique. Just type beam edit, enter, select oblique, select your dimension, press enter, click any point of the corner, then guide your dimensions according to your preferred angle. Okay, you can repeat that here. Type beam edit, press enter, Select oblique, select your dimension, press enter, select the corner, and guide your dimensions. Repeat the process for the entire dimensions. Dim edit, oblique, select the dimension, press enter, select the corner, and guide your dimension. So now, we will going to change the text of each dimensions. Okay, we will we will going to change it to oblique angle also. Simply double click your dimension, select it. Through formatting, select the angle here, which is the oblique angle. You can just play with 30 or negative 30. According, uh, it's depend upon your preferences. 30 is standing 
is the output is just like standing or you can choose negative 30 okay then close ed text editor repeat it here For the leader, we can just rotate the text of it. Type R of to rotate. Select the text. Enter. Select the base point. And then just project going to the 30 degrees. And you can just manipulate this one. For the text, just click multi-line text, type it here first, let's say right, change the height, let's say we use only 1.75, enter, close text editor, and change the layer. Copy your text. So the property of the entire text will be applied to your labels. Rename. Then we're going to rotate according to the faces. For the right, rotate it 30 degrees. For the left, rotate it negative 30 degrees. And for the top, rotate it 30 degrees also. Then double click the text right, select it, and through formatting, change the angle to 30. Close text editor. Same with the left, double click, select the entire text, change the oblique angle to 30 degrees or negative 30. Then close text editor. For the top, double click. To formatting, change the angle to 30. Negative 30. Close text editor. Then move your text to the desired location. You have now the isometric drawing similar on the right side.